welcome to my vlog. So I am deciding to do an impromptu Saturday vlog just to take you around on my day-to-day -day Saturday routine. It's not necessarily a routine. I kind of just do what I want on a Saturday if I don't have any plans. So it is 9.03 a.m. and I am just getting to the gym right now. I was going to go to a Pilates class, but then I decided against it because I did not want to do the commitment of signing up for it last night. But I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm going to want to sleep in. I didn't. I woke up at 8 and my class would have been at 9, so I definitely could have made it. Anyways, I am here at the gym, so I'm going to get a quick workout in. Probably do like 45 minutes to an hour, so not too quick actually. But yeah, I'll bring you along for the rest of my day. Don't mind all of this going on. It is currently probably my time of the month god my skin has been plaguing me all week i don't need this negativity anyway so i just got out of my workout i did about a 45 minute workout mainly on just my abs and there were a lot of people in there aka why i'm wearing a hat i don't want to be seen please don't look at me also there was just so many people so i didn't film so sorry you guys didn't get to see my lovely impromptu ab workout maybe next time anyways i didn't want to go into the sauna today i usually try to go on the sauna on saturdays if i do end up at the gym because i want to sweat it out because i usually go to the gym during my lunch break and so i don't want to return super sweaty and disgusting so yeah i want to go to target which is why i didn't go into the sauna because i don't want to be disgusting in target and i don't want to go home and shower before going there because I don't want to go outside. Yeah, once I'm inside my house, chances are I'm not coming back out. But today I am, but just not for Target. I'm going to go to Target just like this. So I will take you guys with me to Target and get unnecessary things. They have so much stuff. If you have a bar, bar cart, I'm getting one of these. Make mine a double surprisingly i don't have one i'm getting one of these they have another one that says let's drink i'm getting let's drink some cute cocktail napkins love these literally love these shirts i'm getting this i'm full of holiday spirit aka mine. maybe i'll do classic mary and one has mistletoe I'm in a weird stance right now, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target because they had a lot of cute stuff in the dollar section. Obviously not everything's a dollar, you guys know that. It's um, one, three, and five dollars there. And I got quite a few things and I only spent $60, I think. Anyways, they have these pajama bottom sets that you can get to match your whole family so matching pjs for everyone they have a big christmas section right in front of where the dollar spot is at least at my target so i got matching pjs for me and my boyfriend because we were just talking about it i was like can we get new matching pjs this year because last year we did it for christmas day but they were like disney themed and it was like the two-piece button-up stuff and he was like can we not do that i guess he was uncomfortable they're not the most comfortable pjs Granted, I found them at Macy's. They were on sale for like $5 for the set. So I was like, I'll just get these. But they have these guys, which are only the pants. So they have matching bottoms. You guys can just do a regular black or white or red, whatever color shirt and just have matching bottoms. But they also did have matching sets. I didn't go for the matching sets. Those were like $15, $20. And he doesn't even care for it and I'm sure they didn't even have the size finding these was very hard so I actually I'm not the tallest person obviously I got a kid's pajama and the kids ones were only five dollars for the bottoms and I got a size 12 which I opened up one and it looked about my size might be a little tight who knows but a bargain a true bargain and then the men's pants were only seven dollars so like what if you want to dress up your whole family, highly recommend. These are just plain white and black plaid. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I already have white and black pat plaid bottoms. They aren't this fleece material, but I think I might have them already. I don't know. So if those size 
kids 12 do not work out for me i'll be in i'll be just fine you did get two tops this one for thanksgiving i think i am hosting um friendsgiving this year and of course we're doing thanksgiving at my house with my family and my boyfriend's family so i needed a shirt and it's just a plain thankful tea it has a little heart and this was 14 99 which was kind of expensive but it was literally the only one that they had they had like only two extra smalls left in this one because they pulled out all the christmas ones i just got the classic mary i was gonna get the one that says i'm full of holiday spirit aka wine but it was like 24.99 for a t-shirt i'm only gonna wear in the house so didn't make sense but if you guys are looking the graphic tees right now are only eight dollars so i only got one I was going to get the other one. It was red and it said, have yourself a merry little cocktail. But I held myself off. I was like, I only need two. One for Christmas, one for Thanksgiving. I'm going to stop there. Then I got these, like I said, since I'm having Thanksgiving slash Friendsgiving. This was like only one in the whole dollar section because it's all Christmas right now. But these are reusable. I mean, not reusable. These are the takeout bags for Thanksgiving. I just thought they were a cute little touch instead of like giving people like plastic bags to put their stuff in and they just look like like this it says yum let's eat so if there's any leftovers of course there's always leftovers they can go ahead this is the stuff i'm excited about i kind of showed you guys while i was shopping their little bar section i'm just going to show you what exactly i did end up getting so i got this shaker bottle and it says make make mine a double on it and it's cute it's glass and it was only five dollars i have a gold mirror right on top of my bar so the gold accents woo, are doing great i got this which is just a little opener little bottle opener and it says let's drink on it that was three dollars and this one, I don't know if this is like broken or what, but it was the last one they had. And we don't even have one of these for our bar. We literally have no bar accessories except for shot glasses. <laughs> and yeah, we really just have shot glasses. We don't even have mixers. They didn't have any mixers. I wish they did like, you know, like the stir sticks. That would have been great. And then they had the cutest little napkin this one says let's let's drink and this one says clink sip drink repeat and yeah like i said i'm doing friendsgiving thanksgiving i thought these would be cute for that making sure everyone has a cocktail everyone has some wine speaking of wine i also got this oh also these napkins were one dollar a piece for 10 napkins um i got this little wine which yes this little wine this was three dollars I have like a whole wine like wall so I'm just gonna put this right on top of my bar somewhere and then the last thing I got was this mat I seen someone post this mat and I was like this is the reason I went to Target I couldn't remember why I went to Target when I got there I was like what did I need again and then I remembered this and I think it's perfect it's a bar mat they had other ones that I showed you guys while I was shopping but I like the one that I like this one that it says let's drink and this one was five dollars. I don't know how I'm gonna put it on my bar, but I am. I seen I think it was Casey Holmes that posted a video and she was like doing the shop with me target thing. And then I was like, it's done. It's over. I need it. I need it. I need it. And that's like the last thing I got. So now I'm going to go ahead, shower, kind of clean up my room a little bit and get ready for the day. It is currently 11.35. I'm getting ready for the day. Anyways, my sister called me while I was in Target. So I was like distracted talking to her and also trying to browse. They didn't have a lot of clearance stuff. That was also what I wanted to go check out was the Magnolia, the Hearth and Hand. I wanted to check that out, see if they had any cute decor on sale, but... My Target did not have literally anything in the clearance section. So that was a bust. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll talk to you guys in a second. I'm 
so pissed. I didn't see this. This is a different one. They also have these that have like the ingredients on how to make stuff. Some tongs. All right, so I'm back home, went shopping. Didn't really film while I was shopping. So it was not by myself. I went with my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready now. I think we're gonna go to San Jose today, or tonight. It's already like 5 p.m. I have to have my light on because it's so dark thanks to daylight savings. Like, where is the daylight savings? Where is the daylight at all? Cannot be found, cannot be seen. So I'm not gonna film me doing my makeup the whole time just because that is pretty boring. Especially because I don't even know what kind of look I'm going for. Nothing crazy. We're just gonna go to the mall and get some dinner while we're there. You know, very riveting Saturday. The mall was actually so crazy too. So annoyed. I mean, I don't really care. It's not obviously not as crazy as it's gonna be in December, but parking, we ended up finding a really good parking spot though. Literally the first in the row right by the door. So we lucked out there, but like getting into the mall was already an issue. Well, the line was so long because they have like a stop and go like right after you get in. So I'm just taking my ColourPop concealer. It has a little bit of a salmon undertone, so I like to use that to kind of color correct a little bit. I don't think I'm going to put on any foundation. Really, even though my skin has not been the greatest, I don't really like putting on foundation anymore. Like my skin needs to breathe. So what I do is I just spot conceal and I'll just go over with a little bit of my concealer. And then I just go ahead and set my face with powder and do all my other sets, but just never put on like a full layer of foundation. So I used the Tati palette the other day and I really like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Do you think I'm gonna wear a dress, gray dress? So I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna stick something neutral. Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna dress. Actually, maybe I won't dress up today. We're just gonna go maybe get some gen barbecue. I said I wasn't gonna film me doing everything, but I just thought we could chat while I do this anyways. I've been really thinking about like what kind of videos I want to film. Sometimes like makeup videos. Sorry, my boyfriend is taking a shower and he also needs to do a concert while he showers. So if you can hear music in the background, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> I've been really thinking about what kind of videos I want to film, what kind of direction I want to go with what I do post. As you guys know, like this isn't my job. Like it's not my job at all to make videos. But sometimes I really like think about it and I'm like, what can I film that like... People would be interested in just to watch like what do you guys want to see but also like what can i say from like my own personal self like besides makeup because i am sure by now a lot of people know their usual makeup routines they know what they want to do unless you're like looking for like a specific kind of look like i don't know are people actually looking for makeup tutorials let me know if that's you i sometimes i just I'm not, I'll watch makeup tutorials now, but it's not, I'm not watching it for the tutorial. I'm usually watching it for the person. Like, I like their personality. I want to hear what they have to say, like, while they're also doing it. I think in the beginning of YouTube and beginning of me watching YouTube, like, I like to watch tutorials because I wanted to learn, like, actually learn. But I feel like now not really necessarily want to learn sometimes i'll want to get inspiration but if i want inspiration i'll just go on their instagram and look at their pictures i don't necessarily need a step-by-step -step tutorial it's not what i'm looking for but like my main people i'll watch because i want to hear what they're gonna say so it's kind of the thing i'm trying to lean towards like what do i want to talk about what do i think like people would actually want to hear me talk about i've been thinking a lot about like more grown-up stuff maybe college stuff because I feel like I'm a little bit over a year out um, from being in college but I still have like a lot of tips and tricks and I don't know who wants to hear it who wants to hear about like being a first-generation student in college when you come from lower income households because it's definitely different 
when you come from a lower income household than if you were to come from a family that has one has money and two has college educated parents or older siblings because you learn through them like they're able to kind of guide you as to where you want to go i feel like in a lot of cases a lot of lower income households that never had a child go to college let alone the parents go to college they always tell you your goal is to go to college my mom always said that but she never told me how <laughs> She never told me how to apply to college, so she didn't know. So, like, if you guys want tips on that, like, let me know. Because I kind of maneuvered the college experience alone. And that's how a lot of students do it nowadays. Especially if you're a first person going to college. You kind of go through it alone and confused. And you're like, I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I set, submitted my application correct. I hope I answered this cor question correct. And, like... If you have a college center at your school, definitely utilize that. I utilized the college center to an extent. Um, my senior year, or junior year when I was applying, like they gave me like UC fee waivers for my applications and stuff. And someone asked me about that the other day and I have no idea how to do that. Like, how do you get a fee waiver? They just gave it to me at school. Like they were just like, here you go, sign your name right here. And they gave it to me, like no questions asked. But I don't know how to do that even now and I'm already done with school but I don't know how to do that and I know how to um, apply for schools they kind of taught me through that and then also like how to maneuver through university how do you choose what classes are best for you how do you work and go to school at the same time there's like a lot a lot I could talk about let me know let me know if you want to hear it um, I've also been thinking about doing videos about more financial I'm learning a lot I was not raised in financially educated like home we didn't know my mom didn't know like it was kind of a paycheck to paycheck thing nothing about savings was ever talked about nothing about investing was ever talked about so i'm like 23 almost going to be 24 and i'm just learning about that and i feel like a lot of people are the same way i've just read some really good books so i definitely recommend reading up if you guys want to know about how to be better with your finances it's really good to learn sooner than later because then your gro your financial growth can have a longer life you know if you start investing when you're 21 versus when you're 30 like you're obviously gonna inquire a lot of interest from the age of 21 to 30 no matter how much money or how much or how little money you have in your investment account like they're still gonna be making money i'm still learning about it I haven't done any big deep dives into investing quite yet because I'm still trying to learn, figure out the ropes, also set up a healthy savings account before I start putting in money into an investment account. At least till the end of this year. Kind of want to. I kind of have a goal on what I want to get to for my savings because it's always good to have an emergency fund. That's what I learned. An emergency fund is so crucial, and I've had pretty much several emergency funds while I was in school and I didn't know it was an emergency fund. It was kind of like a little nest egg because I knew I was going to have to take time off from working so I could finish my last semester of school. So I saved like, to be honest with you, I saved like $10,000. And I was like, I think that will hold me over, pay my bills. This is before I had a new car, so I didn't have a car payment. My mom still took care of my insurance. So I was like, you know, $10,000 can hold me over these next six months and at first I was like okay maybe it can hold me over these next nine months <laughs> I did not take that much time off though because I ended my job in February and then I found a new job in July so like five months but even towards the end of that five months the reason I took a job so quick was because I was already running out of money have a really good nest egg that's one thing if I could advise anyone into anything have a good nest egg a good emergency fund they say like to have at least three months of like your expenses in there so not necessarily three months of your income but three months of your expenses so like my monthly expenses i add it all up and i'm like okay it's like around this much and then you know multiply that by three if you want a bigger nest egg or saving they say to do six months so it just depends i right now i'm trying to make sure that it's at least six months um in my savings and then i'm gonna start heavily investing 
I do have like a 401k with my job. I finally hit permanent with my job because I was a contractor for a while. So they don't do 401ks if you're a contractor. So I finally got my 401k through them and I'm investing into that. But besides that, I'm not necessarily investing. I have like an Acorns account. If you guys ever heard of Acorns, that's supposed to be like if you want to invest like your extra spare change. So you connect it to your bank account when you use your like debit card. Um, say something is you paid $7.98. They'll take that two pennies left over and put it into your investment account. And so you kind of just save little by little. And I really was not don't like putting in money because you can also submit. So it can take auto deductions in addition to your change or whatever. You can do like $20, $40, $100, like every week, every month, whatever you want to do, automatic investment. I don't really do that. I haven't done that. And so it was just taking my change, I think for the last, I think I had it for a year and it got to like $300 just with my chunk change. Kind of my little easy way into um, investing, but I definitely want to invest in like, you know, an index fund, portfolio. Once I get my like emergency fund savings together. So once I get that together, then I'm gonna really start heavily investing. So whatever that I would put in monthly for into my on hand savings, I'm going to go ahead and put that into my investment account. Once I, one, choose which investment account I want, what portfolio I want to kind of invest in and see what's best for me. I'm still reading on that. If you guys are interested, it's called Broke Millennial. I don't remember what the rest of it is, but there's Broke Millennial and then there's Broke Millennial takes on investing. So Broke Millennial, read that one first. That kind of gives you some insight on how to better handle your financial situation in general so it talks about student loans too and all of that how to pay off credit card debt how to create a emergency fund how best to budget yourself how to create budgets things like that and i'm also really into budgeting right now um, one of the big things that they talked about was getting your savings into a high yielding interest account basically so i have chase and chase is literally 0.01 percent APY. So you're only getting 1% interest on whatever you have in your savings and that's literally nothing. It's like pennies. Literally pennies. That's what I see in my account. And if you only have like $500 or like less than $1,000, like you're not even going to really see any of that pennies coming into your account with this interest. So they talked about that, like get a better um, savings account. And since reading that, I actually did. And it's been pretty good. So I went from having 0.01 to having 1.9% interest. And that's actually really good. Um, there are ones that have higher, like 2.4% interest or 2.7%. I think 2.4 is like the highest. But there's different banks for that. Um, I chose Capital One because I already have a credit card with Capital One. So it was just easy to set up. They already have all my information. And I easily set up my Capital One to connect to my Chase so I could just easily transfer over my chase savings into my capital one savings um, so definitely don't sleep on them capital one is lit anyways i could definitely do a video more in depth in that i did film a what i spent in a week video i was watching those one night and i thought those were really interesting so i kind of wanted to one see what i spent in a week and two kind of show you guys what i don't know i think it's interesting am i just nosy i think i'm not the only one that's nosy but i really found that super cool should I do glitter? I'm gonna do some of this metallic. Oh, it's kind of blue. All right, so that's kind of the end of my rant. Definitely let me know down in the comments or DM me, whatever, if you guys are interested in hearing anything about personal finances and stuff. Like I'm not a personal finance guru or anything, but I can kind of give you guys tips and tricks that I've learned, especially if you don't want to read the books, I'll um, kind of give you guys the spark notes versions or like, the main takeaways that I got from it. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera because I have somewhere to go soon. And I just heard him turn off the shower. So my time is limited and I still don't have eyebrows on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. So I'm finished getting ready. Can you even see me? The sliding is terrible, but I'm just getting ready. Just a simple outfit. I got this super cute sweater with the cutest 
puff sleeve from, can you guess? First, can you guess? From Forever 21. Like, what? And I swear this is like under $20. Like, it just looks so cute. Anyways, and I'm wearing just some black jeans, some black booties, and what do you know? A black bag. So, yeah. Very simple, cute outfit. I'm going to throw on a jacket on top because it is so freaking cold. I don't know if it's cold over there, but I'm just going to throw a jacket on top. Let me show you. It's just going to be a nice, simple black and white coat. Throwing on this cute chevron print jacket. This is also from Forever 21. I ordered a few things. A few, like, I think like six, six things. And I surprisingly love them all. I was going to wear a dress, but it's a little cold. So I'm going to keep that dress for another day. I actually ordered two dresses. But yeah, I really like this coat. It's pretty slim. You guys can see, I forgot to cut that off. Like I said, it's from Forever 21. So the quality is not 100% for this jacket. The quality on this sweater is really good. The jacket, not so much. As you can see, it's also like wrinkled still from being in the bag, but... It does the job. I'm going to cut that off. Let me show you my makeup. Let me stand in front of my ring light. So like I said, I used the Tati palette. I didn't record me doing the rest of my face, but it's just my usual. I'm wearing ColourPop concealer. Then I'm wearing the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and a little bit of a lighter shade for under my eyes. No foundation. This is Dolce K by Kylie, my number one go-to liquid lip. Still wear it all the time. I really like how my eye look came out. And I'm going to go because this camera has zero memory. So I will show you guys what I'm doing later tonight via my iPhone. We're at Jen right now. Totally forgot to vlog. I'm the vlogger of the year. We're just getting dinner. David's tucking it out. 